Hi there. In this video, we will look at creating a new site using Kentigo. Uh, we'll be using the we will be using Kentigo's experience product, which is their digital experience platform. My name is Clyde De Souza. I'm a software developer by profession, and I've been using Kentigo for a lot, couple of years now. Uh, who is this video for? Right, so who is the target audience for this video? Uh, this video is specifically catered to the power users of Kentigo or, or or developers who who would be tasked with adding a new site. Uh, now, of course, uh, when I say adding a new site, we are going to just look at adding um, sort of a built-in template that Kentigo provides. Um, but of course, if you're completely starting from a blank site, then you would have a lot more work to do after you create a new site. Um, but of course, this video is a short one and it is just focused on creating a new site from the existing templates. Right. So if you're not sure what this entails, just hang around, hang around and we will have a look at the process, the steps uh, and what it looks like in just a few minutes. Uh, as usual, if you're, uh, you know, if you're really wanting to have a look at um, Kentico, head over to Kentico.com. Uh, and if you're wanting to have a look at the experience product itself, have a look at experience.io. For now, let's head over to our site. Uh, so we have a dancing code website that's running on 661. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to create a new site. Um, now. What we want to do, uh, so I'll, I'll give, I'll, you know, describe the requirements in just a bit. But the first thing, you know, you would really want to do is head over to the admin portal. So head over to forward slash admin and enter the username administrator. In your development environment, the password will be blank. Uh, of course, it is highly recommended that you change this password. Um, now. We have already created two sites. So this Kentico has, you would know, is a multi-site platform, which means, you know, on a single instance, you can actually run multiple sites with obviously different URLs. Um, and in this case, we already have two sites available to use. Now, what we want to do is we want to add a new one, we want to add a third one. Uh, and so that should appear in this in this drop down as well. To do that, uh, we will click on sites. So it should be here in your dashboard or if you click on the applications, sorry, click on the Kentico icon to open the list of applications, you should be able to search for sites. You will see that there's two sites running, one on localhost 660 and the other one on 661. Let's click on the new site visit to add a new site. The first thing that it will ask is, are we creating a new site using a wizard or are we using a web template? And if you don't know what that means, uh, it's really mentioned over here. So if you choose to create a blank site, the wizard will guide you through the process of creating a new site. If you choose to use a template, you will be able to use one of the predefined web templates. And now, as I mentioned, if you're using uh, you know, a completely new site, including a completely blank new site, you'll have to do a lot more um, stuff to edit. Uh, and of course, that might ev eventually be the case for you if you're actually building a new site. But let's just look at, uh, you know, using uh, an existing template uh, and see what it looks like and, and what the process looks like, really. So we click on using a web template, click on next. This should show up with the templates that are available for us to use. Uh, now, as you, would have, as you would have noticed, we, we, are, we are using Dancing Code at the moment. We also have corporate site installed. Uh, so we want to really, you know, install a different website. Um, there's a whole bunch of things. Again, you have the option to create a blank site um, or one of these other options over here. For the sake of this demo, let us, let us, let us, let us uh, create an e-commerce site. So let's select this as a template and click on next. 
uh, we'll leave this name as e-commerce site but of course feel free to give it a more suitable name um, the code name is yeah you can edit it but I think let's just keep it at the default the domain name and now we are already at 661 we are already using the port 661 so obviously we can't we can't use the same port um, uh, because this site is already running on the port so what you want to do is you want to change it to some other one but um, to see uh, to really to really update it to another number we need to make sure that that particular port on local host is free to use uh, and to do that uh, you check with IIS so hopefully you have you have IIS installed on your PC uh, we can see on dancing code website which we currently have 661 and 660 running let's try to add a new binding right so you click on bindings um, and add a new one um, let's name this 665 hopefully this should be available there you go it is um, and um, so we'll be using this new site on the port number 665 and uh, close this for now and now that we know the port number we'll click on 665 click on next now the object selection takes you through the whole process of what you really want to import uh, when you want to create a new site the if you're using this template obviously the recommended is to leave the default selection as is um, but of course if you want to exclude certain features then you're most welcome to do so just as an example um, let's have a look at um, let's have a look at custom tables hopefully there should be something in there there you go so let's say if we don't want to import the this particular custom table um, then you can uncheck this box and uh, you know proceed with your task or obviously if you don't want to import um, so this imports the custom table the schema and also the data obviously if you don't want to import the data just uncheck this box so this is just one example now if you uh, click on each of these plus icons you will reveal a lot more um, you know a lot more contents um, and so depending on what your use case is and what you want to import uh, in this case since we are already we are, we are using a web template so we we have all this available um, and so you know depending on what you're trying to build you might want to um, import a few things and exclude a few things or you just want to import all the objects and leave everything um, and leave everything the object has as the defaults right uh, so let's do that uh, and because we really want to see what the process looks like click on next and this should begin the process layout uh, process uh, of importing the site uh, so this takes a while uh, so meanwhile let's actually have a look at the documentation page from Kentico so let's say um, let's search for Kentico creating a new site oh I should have actually clicked the other one Let's go back click on this one because it talks about Kentico 12 creating new sites from templates um, and this is essentially what we are doing aren't we uh, so this is the documentation page if you want to have a look at it if you want to read it um, this is where you would go um, we followed pretty much the same steps of course there's a whole lot of information um, that that is available over here currently we are in step 5 uh, we're just waiting for it to finish um, but this is the page that you will go I will link this page in the video description so so you can uh, you can click on it and have a look um, this is for portal engine uh, if you are creating it on an MVC then uh, it takes you to a different page so you have creating new sites from templates so I'll link both of these pages um, and so that you are you have uh, you know you have this 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 link with you to refer to when you want 
Awesome. So step number five has been completed. The import process has been completed. Um, and step six basically just tells us that the site is ready. Let's click on finish to complete the process. As you can see, we have an e-commerce site available to use. Uh, one thing that you notice is that this drop down does not immediately show the e-commerce site. Uh, to, sh to, to make sure that we have this available, uh, we can sign out and we sign in back and once we sign in back the drop down gets updated to e-commerce now if you see you have e-commerce site available in the drop down right so you can obviously click on that and it will take you to the admin page for the e-commerce site um, but of course there's another way of uh, looking at the site that we've built and actually editing the site which is really going to port number 665 now this is the first time we are loading the page so it might take a take a while to load now i'm using a trial license um, for kentico 12 i've just installed it uh, and that's why you had seen the message before um, and uh, hopefully in your real life example you wouldn't have a valid license uh, which means uh, you would not actually see that message cool so we have our e-commerce site up and ready and uh, you click on a few pages here to see what it looks like just a simple e-commerce site that you would imagine obviously you would uh, you know want to update what, how the site looks like um, but let's go into the admin portal and see what it, what, what do we have, right? So administrator, sign in. So this is the message that I was talking about. Let's just close this. Um, now you are in the e-commerce site. And so if I click on pages and click on the home page, for example, the we, we, have, we see what the site actually looks like. Um, and so, you know, if you really want to update, if you want to keep the template as it is and just update stuff, you, you know, it's, it's just a regular content management, uh, you know, um, uh, concepts that apply. Um, you know, so if you want to update any one of these products, uh, you'd go click on a particular product and update, update it. Um, and then, of course, make your changes available so that's available for the users. So this was a quick, simple video on how to add a new site using the template. Um, again, I will link the the article in the description of this video. Um, but of course, if you have any questions, uh, please post it in the comments of this of this video, and I will try and answer as many questions as I can. Um, as with any other video do subscribe for uh, you know for um, notifications when i when i upload new content to this channel uh, and of course like the video and share this video with your network if you liked what you saw all right until the next video uh, take care and stay safe and and, and bye bye and thanks for watching